Okay, so we're trying to find the area of a sector of a circle. And to find the area of a sector means to find the area of the whole circle and then find a fraction of that area. Okay, so a sector is the area between two radii and the arc that connects their points. So this would be a sector, a red sector, and this would be another sector. Okay, um, the first step is we're going to look at the uh, steps to figure out what we're going to do and then we're going to read the question. Alright, so this first step is to find the area of the entire circle using the area formula a equals pi r squared. Alright, so we, we see this is the formula. Looking at the problem, we're going to keep on going through the steps and then we'll look up here. Next step is to find the fraction of the circle by putting the angle measurement of the sector over 360 degrees the total number of degrees in a circle. By doing this, you'll find out what fraction of the entire circle you actually want to find the area of. And then last step is to multiply the fraction that you get here in step two by the area of the entire circle in step one. And then don't forget to leave your answer in terms of pi. All right, let's go to the problem and read. Janice is part painting a circular tabletop as shown below, okay? By looking at this, this drawing, I can pick out a couple of pieces of information. One, I know that, that the red sector is right here, and I know that it has a central angle of 90 degrees. So the central angle is 90 degrees, and I know that that is 90 degrees out of 360 degrees. And if I simplify this, I know that it simplifies to 1 fourth. I simplify this by pulling out a factor of 10 and then a factor of 9. Okay, and one fourth is the fraction of the circle that I'll be finding. Okay, I also know that the radius, the line segment that goes from center to a point on the circle, is 1.5 feet or one and five tenths of a foot. All right, and I know it's not drawn to scale, so I know I'm not going to put my ruler here to try to see if this is actually one and a half feet. All right, I read the problem. Janice needs to find the area of the red section of the circular tabletop in order to buy the right amount of paint. The red section, the red sector. Um, what is the area of the red section of the circular tabletop? Round your answer to the nearest hundredths place. Okay? So in order to round my answer to the nearest hundredths place, I know I'm going to have to go to the thousandths place. And leave your answer in terms of pi. All right, I see a formula. I'm going to find the area of the entire circle first. When you see a formula, use physu. Label all the variables of the formula first. A equals, pi equals, r equals. All right. First step, tell me all of the um, operations in the formula. A equals pi, what's going on in between pi and the r, times and r squared. Good. All right, next we're going to go through the problem. It says, what is the area of the red section? So A is A, and that's where the question mark is, but we're going to have to find the sector. Um, it says pi is pi, and the radius we identified as one and a half feet. All right, so now it's time to substitute. A is A equals pi is pi times the r of 1.5 feet squared. All right, now it's time to solve using order operations. Any groups? No. Any uh, exponents? Yes. We're going to group this right here. Copy a equals pi times. And then we do 1.5 times 1.5 because that's what 1.5 squared is. 5, 7, Done with that. Clean up. 1 times 5, 5. 1 times 1, 1. 5, 12, 2. When multiplying decimals, we move the decimal point over once to the left. And one more time to the left. So the answer is 2.25. And then it's feet times feet, which is feet squared. All right, so I have um, pi times 2.5 feet squared. Group that. Area of the entire circle is 2.25 pi 
feet squared. Now that's the area of the entire circle. I need to find part of that. So I'm going to multiply the area By the way, this fraction over here simplified to 1 fourth. And I'm multiply the area by 1 fourth. So 2.25 pi times 1 fourth. And we'll put in the units. That equals 1.1 1 .1 times 2.25 is 2.25 divided by 4 times pi feet squared. Let's do the division over here. 2.25 divided by 4 and I go one more place because I have to get to the thousandths place. Uh, sorry, 1, 2, 8, 2. Alright, we're going to round this to the nearest thousandths place going to be 56, 56 hundredths or 57 hundredths. We look to the 2, we round down to 56 hundredths. All right, and that is what this is right here. Multiply that for space reasons. Multiply that by pi. We get the area is about 56 hundredths pi square feet. And that is how you find the area of the sector. So always find the area of the entire circle first, then multiply it by the uh, simplified fraction of the central angle over 360 degrees.